How do you feel? Yeah, I'm delighted. I the guys played extremely well. Um, prepared well, executed well, so just very happy for the boys. Yeah, I think so. I think when you turn up and, and deliver a really, you know, you deliver your game plan and you execute it really well and with precision, I think it gives you an understanding of, of, of possibilities of what you can do down the line. Um, they really turned up, they kept their focus. You know, what we looked to do strategically, they did. And I, you know, I think that's, you know, all credit to, to Jason the way he's led the team and the boys. Just give him real authority. Yeah, I mean, I think he generally is a calm, composed guy. You know, it's one thing to lead strategically; it's another thing to lead with performance. And uh, you know, it was a, there were many special performances, but his was exceptional. How difficult was it to keep the team and everyone around the team focused, given all the uh, fuss uh, leading up to the game? that involved the appointment of coaches and certain things of that nature. Was that a distraction anyway? No, not at all. We just got on with it really. You know, it wasn't it wasn't a discussion. We knew what we wanted to do. And I think I think the noise was outside, it certainly wasn't inside. Yeah, no, he was wonderful today. I think I just think the pressure created by the bowling unit um, was great. You know, you've got four good quick bowlers. Boston bowled exceptionally well. His control was good, good fields. Um, you know, built up a huge amount of pressure throughout the day. And just his control and consistency. And that, again, that will give him a huge amount of confidence going forward. I just feel it's very different today. It's been uh, how pleasing was it to blow in the way with sort of classic Caribbean boss bowling? Yeah, yeah, you know, I think I think just collectively as a unit, you know, they complemented each other, managed to put together good waves of pressure. Um, today, interestingly, on the fourth day, we thought it would go up, up and down a little bit more than it did, but you know, the quicks, the quicks were good, and I just think the the, the amount of pressure that it built up, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to say that Boston didn't bowl well, he bowled exceptionally well, but you know, when you got pressure at both ends. Do you think Rosson has the potential to go all the way and uh, his spin bowling be, let's say, a major force in the bowling attack as opposed to being a batsman who goes and things? I think it's great having. I think it's great having a variety. You know, we've got a mixture of spinners. We're all competing for spots. You know, Rosson's Rosson's got a huge amount of potential. You know, I think having Mushtaq Ahmed here is, is is great for Rosson and our other spinners to be able to learn from a guy who's you know not only a legendary bowler in his own right but a great coach. So I think that's really important for their development. And I, you know, as a guy who's, you know, he's a, he's a standout batter, he's just going to get better. I think it, it's great having those balance and balance in the side in terms of all rounders. Um, really gives the selectors options both sides. We've got a century of number here for what happen. Well, I just really congratulate him. You know, when people when people deliver performances like that, you know. Um, the words afterwards, you know, a little bit hollow. Just an incredible performance, and I think, you know, I thought um, Shane Dorich the night before he batted exceptionally well. He came through a, a really serious spell of pressure bowling from England, counter attack beautifully, and Jason and Shane the next day said again. Absolutely. Do you see Jason as being used higher up the order in the future? Do you see Jason as a um, possibility batting higher in the order in the future? Well, look, I mean, he's still evolving as an all-rounder. You know, I think today was when you when you have a performance like you did yesterday, um, performance of such magnitude again, you know, sort of breaks boundaries for yourself individually as a player. Uh, I think the batting lineup is pretty solid. Um, you know, I think the guys are pretty settled in their position, so I don't see any changes right now. How many boxes do you think the team ticked? I thought the team were exceptional. I thought the wicket was pretty challenging the first day and a half to two days. Um, you know, it was, it was it was going through a drying process, and that, you know, interestingly, it was sort of drying out throughout the course of the game. Um, it, 
you know, outside of the turn today, I thought the bounce was reasonably consistent in terms of ticking boxes. I just think collectively it was a fantastic team performance, really, you know. I, would you want better? I can't, you know, I mean, you always look for the perfect performance, but I mean, you know, the guys over four days were, were really exceptional. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you know, we've got our goals for the series. Um, you know, we've, we've, we've ticked off the first test. Um, it's, uh, you know, England you know, have been hurting by this. They'll come back, they'll come back to the San Antigua, they'll come back strong. Yeah, so it's all to side, you know, huge respect for them. You know, we're gonna we're gonna need to be up our game's gotta be right at the highest level for them. Do you think England underestimated your team and did a few conditions as well? They did seem to be caught in. I don't know, I'd like to credit the lads, you know. I think they I thought, I thought the quality of our performance was exceptional. You know, I don't no, I don't think it's necessarily about you know, them underestimating the opposition when it's not as good as England and played consistently as well as England, you know, they'll have their own benchmarks, they've got great players, they know what they want to deliver. I just think a lot of credit to the West Indies side. I think they really turned up and played exceptional football. You've seen a lot of these guys here. Well, you always look to develop, you know, a core group of players. Um, to build out your, your different formats, the um, they've you know I think Jason's got a group of players around him now that, that they've, they've got a depth of experience. Um, you know, building from here, you know, one swallow doesn't make a summer. We've been exceptional in this test match. I think you know just going forward with this group of players, as much competition for spots as possible. We've got some good players coming through in first class cricket. You know, that keeps the players in the squad honest. And the guys just, you know, they, they, their preparation, their, their work ethic coming into this match was fantastic. And if they, they keep working like that, they're going to be an exceptional side.